I've always been told since I was a toddler that I was very hyperactive. That I would be bouncing off the walls and always had to be doing something other than sitting still. I never thought much of it because that was just who I was whenever I was younger. Though, whenever I was around seven years of age, I was diagnosed with ADHD. ADHD is one of the most common behavioral and mental issues with children along with depression. The effect that it has on children varies, but it also can be harmful in to the child health-wise and mentally. As ADHD and depression runs along through my family line on multiple sides, most of us have all taken antidepressants or Ritalin. While behavioral drugs may be beneficial to children, it can cause some major effects and changes from the day-to-day -day basis of their lives. Today, in my persuasive speech, I will be talking about ADHD, depression, and the health hazards these drugs can have in a child's life, such as health risks. The mental health of a child should be a main concern whenever it comes to taking these drugs. As a common case, it is for the child to start becoming lifeless or emotional. Even though a stimulant can reduce symptoms of ADHD, some children experience harmful or uncomfortable side effects. This can get dangerous enough to where a child has to be admitted into a hospital. When I personally was on Ritalin at seven years old, I did what it was needed to it did what it was needed to do. I wasn't as hyperactive. I started to excel at school and was able to focus on what was going on around. Though it had effects on me that I hardly noticed, that was more noticeable to others around me every day. The following quotation is showing from my parents' point of view of their child taking it. When you were first put on Ritalin after being diagnosed with ADHD, you had to go from different dosages due to the fact that it did not work well with your body. In second grade, you would start to pass out in classes as soon as the lights turned off. It got to the point where your teacher had to have parent-teacher conferences to discuss the issue because she was worried if you were okay or not. The, throughout the few years that you were on the medication, you started to eat less than you used to. You started to become lifeless. As is stated in the quotation, I had become almost someone else in my mom's eyes. The side effects that mostly affected me was sleep problems, decreased, decreased appetite, and moodiness and irritability. Though other children can suffer from headaches and migraines, nausea, delayed growth, rebounds, and tips. But ADHD is also associated with learning disabilities, bipolar disorders, and depression. Depression is a major issue from ADHD medicine side effects, though it is a global issue and over 300 million people worldwide are diagnosed with depression. Depression is a very dangerous mental disease that can go unnoticed. Though, most of the common issue with depression and giving out antidepressants is a medical doctor prescribing antidepressants without a written prescription from a psychiatrist. Antidepressants prescription written out by a doctor is without psychiatric treatment or consultation doubled from 1996 to 1990. Though, mental health experts say that any behavioral drug should not be given out to any patient without psychotherapy. Though, as mental health critics argue that each depression is singular and there is not a single drug that can cure the systems, as the cause of depression cannot be cured. As antidepressants may be an effective way to depression and anxiety among teens and children, the child should be highly monitored as there are severe side effects. Side effects from antidepressants in like teens and children come in many forms. A few are talk of suicide, self-harm, eating less, less social, restlessness or agitation, anxiety or panic attacks, aggression, violence or hostility, spending more time alone, and trouble sleeping or insomnia. Though, there are benefits with antidepressants. It can take up to about three to six weeks before there are any some behavioral trends for children. Even though antidepressants can take away the physical symptoms of depression, it does not take away the patient's harmful thoughts. The mentality of depression is still there. Depression is one of the most difficult mental illnesses that a person can possibly go through. As childhood depression is increasing through the, as the years as well. As of 2008, suicide was the 
third leading cause of death in the United States of America from the ages of 15 to 24, while suicide was also the sixth leading cause of death from the ages to, of five years old to 14 years of age. It is hard to believe that at the age of, at the that a child at the young age of five is thinking of suicide and actually committing to it, regardless if on antidepressants. Depression and ADHD have major tolls on children and their families. The drug usage for both SSRI, Ritalin, and Adderall makes major changes in a kid's life, as some are unsafe. As Adderall has a common effect in the risk of a child having deadly cardiovascular events such as heart attacks and strokes. Would you really want to put your kid through that to know that the medicine that they could possibly take seriously injure them? Or worse, cause the death of your child? Personally, I wouldn't want to put my kid through the risk of serious injury or uh, caused by a medication. It is recommended that paroxetine which is an SSRI, should not be used at all amongst children and adolescents at all. While Prozac is FDA approved to be used to children as the young as the age of eight, most prescriptions of children younger are off-labeled. Parents are starting to become more active by opposing ADHD medication. While studies show that ADHD is also a result from medical conditions, trauma, or tensions of life more likely. Though, the benefits of both antidepressants and ADHD in medicine is helpful to the child that can be beneficial. The risks outweigh the pros. As we come to the closing, the effects of behavioral drugs still stand as an issue today. From ADHD medications to antidepressants to more, there is always a risk to each and every single behavioral drug. Would you really want to put your child through the risk and dangers of these drugs? 